Hello everyone, Dave here and welcome to another Warhammer 40,000 build. In this build we are going to be building some Death Guard Pox Watercolors. Also going to be painting them on screen as well. I'm going to do my normal sort of, um, well not my normal sort of bit by bit because these are easy to build models. I'm going to completely build them, uh, spray them, then do the painting of them. I'll be using my own sort of colouring for them so I do hope you enjoy it. That's uh, very, very easy to, to build. It'll be uh, quite fun to get some lovely, disgusting box walkers. Give you a bit of the lore as well with the time lapse, so I hope that you enjoy the build. Pox walkers shambling across the battlefield in reeking hordes. Pox walkers engulf their enemies in a rotting tide. They are cursed victims of Nurgle's plagues, transformed into the unliving weapons of the Death Guard. Amongst the countless diseased proposed by the legions, none is more fearsome than Nurgle's rot. This perfect plague is both spiritual and physical in nature, inflicting a drawn out and horrific decline upon the victim that eventually erodes their soul while leaving their body as a plague-ridden husk. Yet Nurgle's rot is but one of the diseases that churns within the innards of the Death Guard and saturates every world upon which they tread. The destroyer plague, that which tormented Morgan's sons and delivered them to Nurgle, still lurks in their rotting flesh. The zombie plague, the madly of unliving aberrations for which Typhus the Herald is the victor propaganda proprietor, has figured into countless strains since the great rift yearned wide. The weeping mut effects, the slivering scourge, and countless others spread before the Death Guard, and it's a cocktail of those appalling malices that breeds the walking pox. Victims of the walking pox find their bodies rotten and shut down until death eventually takes them. Yet this is not the end. The suffering remains cruelly conspicuous and aware, trapped within their corpses. As it reanimates, with a righteous grin and staggers off in search of the living. Their flesh mutates even after death, sprouting bloated pustules, tentacles and horn-like growths from the skin similar to those of Nurgle's demonic plague bearers. Simply hearing the mindless groaning contoxophony of the poxwalkers is enough to inflict the souls of all but the most faithful imperial citizens, leading to mass outbreaks even within fortified and cities that appear invited. Countless souls have been lost in such a way to this meddling, every one becoming another heretical abomination, intent on murder. By the time the Death Guard move in to attack a world so inflicted, they have an army of the dead waiting to aid them. Though most commonly utilised by victors of the First Plague Company, pox walkers are used as cannon fodder, fodder and terror troops for Death Guard warbands. They display rudimentary coordination in battle, wielding battlefield debris as crude weapons, and although they are clumsy and slow, they are also inhumanly resistant. In large numbers, these slouching corpse mutants are capable of overrunning enemy lines, gluing, bludgeoning, and ripping apart in orgies of mindless violence those that once have counted them among their allies. Yes, that is the official law of the Poxwalkers from the Death Guard rule book. There is something else that is not said in the law that is in its rules, which is a bit more about the curse of the walking pox. 
each time an enemy model is slain by a poxwalker in the fight phase, add one more model to the poxwalker unit. Basically, if you're killed by a poxwalker, you come back as a poxwalker. That's the law, and a bit more about the in-depth of the mechanics of the rules. You also have, of course, the uncannily resilient trait, or disgustingly resilient, as it's officially called. Each time a model with this rule uses a wound, you can roll a dice. On a 5 or 6, it doesn't lose a wound. Yay! Awesomeness. Anyway, let's get some copyright free music in.
And there they are, all built, painted and ready to go. These pox walkers from the Death Guards army book. As you can see, I've done them in a very sort of zombie-like, rotten way. Put them on the uh, normal base. I will get the uh, edges of the uh, bases painted black. But I am very proud with the fact that most of this, apart from the weapons and the trousers, are all wash paints, basically. The reason I decided to do them as this, instead of like some sort of flesh, is to basically make them like walking poxes, walking manifestations of the disease that's fully overcome the bodies of the unfortunates that has been infected and taken over by them. Especially this guy. He looks like he's just going to explode with the amount of pus that's inside him. But there we are. There we have him. I do hope that you enjoyed this video as always. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Until the next one, this is Dave. Death to the False Emperor.